I hate everything about this right now. Okay, yeah, here it is. The November vlog. Oh my goodness. I don't know what it is about this time of year, but I've just decided that this is my, like, goblin time frame. Or, but not like, not like goblin is in, like, goblin mode, like, you know, like, just going, like, absolutely crazy and, like, lawless. More like, you know, goblin, like a troll under a bridge. I think, like, that's the kind of mood that I'm currently in. So work has just been an absolute nightmare. Um, it just this week, actually just today, today it finally like slowed down and became like somewhat reasonable now that we are a week away from the end of the year. I have like barely been riding. I mean, I think I had like a week or two off before I even went to the horse show with Fuego, which was wild. I mean, traveling for like holidays and stuff. Um, I had to leave for Thanksgiving. And then when I came back, I caught COVID. So that was like a full week of absolute mess. And then after that, um, my car decided to break down. And so now I'm paying for that. And then I also just inhaled jet fuel a couple of days ago, not on purpose. So yeah, also in the process of recovering from that, which I don't think there really is any recovering. I'm just gonna consider this a terminal illness at this point. But regardless. November. I was really excited for the start of the month because I knew that I had the show coming up and I was just feeling really I was feeling pretty good about our lessons. Um, he hopped around very nicely over some like three foot courses just before the show. That was, I think the week before in our regular lesson. So that had me feeling really confident going into the show since we were only going at two, three. And if you have not watched the show vlog, you need to go back and watch it because Fuego was an absolute little angel baby boy. I am absolutely just still overjoyed with how well he performed and how well he did and it makes me really excited to take him out again. We ended up getting I think two firsts for the weekend and then another um, third, fourth, and fifth. So phenomenal performance for his first show. Couldn't have been happier. So then after that, we kind of just kept things easy. Technically, this is the off season for me, so it's been a pretty simple month. I have been trying really hard to practice riding him bridleless, partially for my own vanity, but then also just for safety reasons, because I keep seeing that same video of whoever that show jumper is who like got thrown over her horse's neck and like pulled the bridle off in the process. And now I'm scared that that's gonna happen to me going over a, what, a flower box? Yeah, I'm not taking any chances. So yeah, we're working on that. Um, it's going terribly, I'm awful. Um, but yeah, we're we're gonna get better. I'm certain that we're gonna get better. But now really, like he's just been um, getting a little bit better on the flat, especially with now that he has like a lot of kids riding him. Um, just I spent a lot of time trying to reinstall a lot of the buttons that I installed this time last year. So it's mostly the forward button and then also the do not walk away when I'm at the mounting block button. Yeah, I just, in general, I do want to um, try to spend a little more time with him. I haven't really been able to get out to the barn all that much, just between, like, again, work and travel. Um, and I feel like I'm kind of missing out on a lot of the fun time that we used to have. So hopefully things slow down in December. Hopefully things, you know, can go my way as the year wraps up. Yeah, I'm I'm excited for what 2023 has to offer. I'm just skipping through the month of December entirely and just going straight to 2023 because that's the vibe right now. So again, thank you guys for watching. This is definitely a short one for the books, but hopefully we'll be doing a lot more next month. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.